you have a strong macroeconomic element in your process. Why is this important for investors in your funds? Look, I think we have to acknowledge we, we operate in a, in a part of the world that's, that's extremely volatile. I mean, if we describe South Africa very simply, we're a, what we deem to be a very low quality emerging market. And what that essentially means is that we're very buffeted, very, very influenced by international and global events. Our RAND uh, reacts accordingly. So when, the, when we're environments of, of uh, risk on and risk off, the RAND tends to behave accordingly. So it's very important when looking at asset classes domestically, whether it's stocks or, or bonds, um, to be cognizant of the fact that we're very influenced by offshore events. So it's critical in our minds when appraising a company, appraising a, an asset class to understand uh, the, the significant offshore and macro influences uh, over the various asset classes. And it's for, simply for that reason, we feel it's very, very important to have a, a good, sound, solid macroeconomic uh, overlay on in terms of our research process. And Royce, can you add to that? Andrew, I think it's as one as one looks at, at various asset classes, um, studies them over time, you'll see they're all very much interlinked. And in, in, to draw an analogy, it's almost like getting the, a, a puzzle together. You get your corner pieces and then everything flows together. So, so we are, are, are very adamant that all asset classes are in some guise or form joined at the hip. Um, and it's very important to understand how they, how they all interact together um, to get the optimal investment outcome. So we think it's very important. Um, and South Africa does fit into the global trends and, the, and the, the global interaction between asset classes. We think it's a critical part of our investment process. 